If you're a tween or a parent of one, I'll only have to say three words. High School Musical. If you're not, let me explain. It's a mega million dollar Disney phenomenon, an all singing, all dancing, feel good franchise about kids growing up and going through school. It started out as an unpretentious little film, then bang, it took the world by storm. Now there's the ice show, the stage show, and of course, enough merchandise to make parents go weak at the knees. And there's a simple secret to all this success. They left out all the naughty bits. There's no swearing, no drugs, and certainly no sex. Brisbane, and gathered around the television set, there's an 11th birthday party in full swing. A bunch of best friends singing and dancing along to the latest craze to hit girls this age. High School Musical. It started out as a little Disney movie made for TV that somehow turned into a world obsession. No and Australia is as hysterical about it as the rest of the planet. What is it that you like about High School Musical so much? The songs! Oh. The songs. Um, the songs and oh it's cool. How many times have you seen High School Musical? <clears throat> only 50. Only 50 times? Yeah, only 50. Yeah, I've seen it yeah. like, a bit more than that because my sister's obsessed with High School Musical. So so yeah, uh, so too. she's obsessed but you're not obsessed. Yeah, right? I am obsessed too, but, but too. Um, not okay. as obsessed. Yeah. Hey! <sighs> Leave it. Oh, me neither. But how? Oh this God. is how big the obsession is. Seen by more than 250 million people, there are two films, two bestseller books, countless stage productions, record breaking albums, and now the Ice Tour, starring Australian Brad Santa in the lead role. Do some of those tweens throw themselves at you? <laughs> well, we have some barriers here which are really good, so that helps. <laughs> if you've somehow missed the high school musical fuss, think back to the 70s smash hit, Grease. Took a bowling in the arcade. We went strong, drank lemonade. Remember Danny and Sandy's school days and all those songs. Well, High School Musical is Grease without the grit. It centres around Troy, the basketball star who secretly wants to sing, and Gabriella, a maths geek who also wants to perform. Of course, they're madly in love. Isn't it all a bit too nice? Like, isn't everyone no, too nice? I know, really. mm -hmm. And they give the message that, like, always stay together and, and never, trust like, yourself. Yeah. And yeah. trust and everybody around believe, you and trust yourself. And believe that you can do it, because even though you might not think that you can do it, you probably could. I want fabulous, that is my simple request. Oh. The film's success comes from what it doesn't have. Where Greece had drinking, smoking and teenage pregnancy, High School Musical is unflinchingly clean and wholesome. I want more. I'm telling you, if that girl could figure out a way to play both Romeo and Juliet, her own brother would be ace out of a job. One of its big stars is the very nice Monique Coleman. Not really. When you first got involved with it, did you go, oh, yeah, well, that's another, excuse me for saying this, another Disney family film, or did you go, I did, a little this bit. is going to be the hugest thing to Oh, no, I was like... Are you sure? <laughs> you know, I, I definitely, I, um, I looked at it like, okay, it's cute, that's cute. But when I was on set and filming, I did know that I was a part of something special. I had no idea that it would have become huge. Oh my gosh, isn't Troy Bolton just the hottie super bum? <laughs> Monique plays Taylor, the head of the Brainiacs at the fictional East High, and Gabriella's new best friend. <laughs> So now tell me, East High School, did that reflect what your high school's like at all? Um, you know, not at all. <laughs> I think the only thing that was uh, similar were the cliques. 
It may have a very American feel, but this all-singing, all-dancing film has universal appeal. I don't recall you mentioning the boss is such a creep. I think what everyone wants to know is when you come up against problems in your own life, Monique, do you break out into song and dance? Occasionally I do, <laughs> actually. Occasionally I do break out into song and dance. Um, no, uh, of course, my, my life is not like High School Musical exactly, but I think that that's part of, of, of the phenomena is that it's hopeful, is that you sort of wish that you could just have a moment where you got to sing about your woes and that there was a song that would come up when you were having a romantic moment with someone. <laughs> You're as cheesy as the film. I'm aren't totally you? cheesy. I'm a mess. <laughs> I mean, yeah, definitely. And cheesiness is the key. Quite simply, kids want to sing and dance, they want to have fun. I think that kids nowadays are tired of this overhanging cloud. We see so much depression. We see so much treatment for depression, self-mutilation, suicide. These are the things that kids have been exposed to and they don't want that. It isn't natural for them. They are genuinely having fun and enjoying themselves and it's contagious. Here on a Hollywood studio backlot, child psychologist Karen Carreri says kids are embracing the innocence of High School Musical and rejecting the not-so-innocent sexualization of movies, music and role models. I think they're really tired of hearing about Paris Hilton, Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, the tragedies, the violence, the drugs, the sex, the rock and roll. Kids really don't want that. So this isn't something that's been forced upon the children. It's not the parents going, oh, thank God, finally we can let them watch something by themselves. This is something the kids want. I feel truly the kids feel it in their heart and soul. I think if anything, High School Musical allows kids to dream, to seek their goals, to be good at more than one thing. Certainly back in Brisbane, this is one party Lindsay, Paris and Brittany wouldn't be invited to. Drain after she shaved her hair and just Ooh. she gained yeah. weight and she like tried to get custody of like kids and yeah. I like her songs but she's like going on drugs and everything so she's doing all these psycho things. I don't even know her songs and I I don't like her anyway. Yeah, I don't know her songs I, either, but I don't like her. I don't, I don't like her. She is. I don't really like her at all. Well, High School Musical is so different. Yeah, yeah I know. And is, and is that what you like about it? Yeah. yeah. There, there isn't really? any bad words or anything in it, so yeah. it doesn't teach kids not to do right, wrong things. Bad messages. Yeah. It teaches um, them to do the right thing and have fun and stuff. Now, on set, is there much competition between the brainiacs and the jocks? <laughs> <laughs> do you give each other a hard time? <laughs> Two of the film stars, Ryan Sanborn and Casey Stroh, are overnight sensations, and their young fans are some of the most loyal and most starstruck. It's a lot to live up to because they believe you're those characters, don't mm -hmm. they? 